Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've opened Photoshop and seen that annoying message, scratch discs are full, don't worry, you're not alone. In this quick video I'll show you exactly how to fix it, fast and step by step. But first, let's understand what a scratch disc actually is. Photoshop uses your hard drive as extra memory to handle temporary files and processes, especially when your RAM isn't enough. This extra space is called a scratch disk. When your drive runs out of free space, Photoshop can't function properly and shows this error. Now let's talk about how to fix it. There are two main solutions. The first one is to free up space on your hard drive, especially the drive set as your scratch disk, usually the C drive. Go to this PC where all your drives are listed. Right click on the C drive and select Properties. If your C drive is full, click on Disk Cleanup, then click OK to remove temporary files and free up space. Another quick fix is to right click on the Recycle Bin icon on your desktop and select Empty Recycle Bin. This deletes unnecessary files and helps clear up storage for Photoshop to run smoothly. The second solution is to change the scratch disk location. If you have another drive with more space, you can tell Photoshop to use that instead. On Windows, simply go to Edit, Preferences, Scratch Disks. On Mac, it's Photoshop Preferences Scratch Disks. A window will open showing available drives. If your C drive is full, uncheck it and check a different drive. If your C drive isn't full, you can check both drives to let Photoshop use them together as scratch disks. Then click OK and restart Photoshop. If Photoshop still complains, here are two more things you can try. First, move large Photoshop project files to another drive to free up space. Second, you can reset Photoshop preferences by holding Ctrl-Alt-Shift while launching the program. This resets everything to default, which often clears hidden issues. And that's it. Your scratch disk problem should be gone. If this helped, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more quick design tips and tutorials from me. See you next time.